Hello, my name is Karen Shackleton and I'm the founder and chair of Pensions for Purpose. Today we are thinking about International Students Day, which is an opportunity for us to celebrate the achievements of students from all around the world. Now, these students often work really hard to achieve their career goals and to make a difference in the world. It often means leaving their families and going overseas to university to study and um, very often in the UK. And many students go to great lengths to do this financially, logistically and emotionally, of course. So we thought this was a really good moment to speak to, first of all, our current intern, Juan David Perez, who is from Colombia, and our new incoming intern, uh, Bruna Bauer, who is from Brazil. So um, Juan David, or JD, as I'm going to call you, uh, just come to you first of all. Could you just talk a little bit about your journey to date and uh, what that has meant for you? And then perhaps talk a little bit about the internship you've had with us. And then finally, talk about what you're going to be doing next. Sure. Thank you very much, Karen. And thank you for this opportunity to express my, my experience and share all my 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 journey here in the UK uh, doing my master's. So I came in 2022 to do my master's at the University of East Anglia and it was a dream for me. Uh, so it started in 2018 when I decided to go to New Zealand to study English, but always the main objective was to do my master's abroad and everyone knows that the UK is well known for education and universities. So I started my journey in 2018. I went to New Zealand to study English and then I went back to my country in Colombia. I worked for a couple of years more and then I came to the UK in 2022. Um, and now I finished my master's. I'm really glad I did my, I achieved my, my main goal. And it was a wonderful experience i met people around the world the globe and i highly recommend that to everyone and it's an experience to live um the most exciting uh, uh, thing from my point of view is you meet people around the globe uh, you meet people you get experiences you share knowledge and that's amazing how different we think and all our point of views are different, but at the end of the day, everyone wants to build, build a, a better world and that's what we are working on. And that's my experience. I'm really glad I did it. I'm really happy here in the UK. My fiance is British, so it's a lot of going on and it's a really good experience uh, to everyone. And, um, my experience at Pension for Purpose has been amazing. And been working with you, Karen, it's been a pleasure. As I always said, um, I really want you to be my mentor in my career in this impact investing journey. And I just can tell good things about the, the, the internship. Uh, as I said to Bruna, it's a really uh, interesting opportunity to learn more about the UK financial system, especially the pension fund system. Uh, it's very different compared to my country. So it's, it was a really good opportunity to learn more about pension funds in other countries, how they work, how important they are. I've been working in the financial sector more than 10 years and I realized many things that I didn't know before. So it was really interesting and really passionate about that. Um, it's a real internship. You will be involved in a real project. You'll be meeting, interviewing, collecting data from professionals and they can share with you many different experiences and knowledge. So it's a a real experience and uh, I'm so grateful for that. Um, now I'm going to work with my university uh, in a really interesting project and something related to with sustainability and investments. So I'm really glad for this opportunity and I believe and I strongly believe that this internship uh, has helped me a lot to, to build a better profile and to show my skills uh, to, to get my job. So uh, I'm really grateful and just keep going is, is my last message. 
Well, thank you. And it's been an absolute pleasure working with you. And I'm more than happy to be your mentor. I just hope that you don't sort of take off too rapidly where I suddenly feel, oh no, what am I going to say next? But uh, I think you're going to do a fantastic job in your new role and really interested to see how your career develops over the coming years. So thank you so much for everything you've done for Pensions for Purpose. My pleasure. Luna, uh, over to you now. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your journey so far and then what you're hoping to get out of the internship. Well, thank you, Karen, for the initiative. I think it's very important to have this kind of conversation. And I think I couldn't agree more with um, JD when he says that connecting to people is the main takeaway that we get from any kind of international experience as an international student. I couldn't agree more on that. Uh, I'm originally from Brazil, and my background is mainly was mainly focused on corporate social responsibility, diversity and inclusion, that back in Brazil. And then um, I've planned to come abroad for like pretty much like you, JD, like for three or four years. And then I finally applied for my um, scholarship in 2020. And uh, in 2021, I've got a positive response. So I started my journey here in the UK. Um, and that's really because before I was working with ESG, but with a focus on diversity and inclusion. And then when I first got in the UK, I'm based in Glasgow. So I had the opportunity to uh, be part of uh, COP26. And that was really life-changing because I got in touch with sustainable finance, impact investing, and this specific subject that I decided to dive in in the next uh, two years of my master's. So it was it was really nice because then I, I had to, to choose a focus for my master's thesis as well. So. For the final year of my uh, master master's program, I focused on the carbon market. So I wrote my thesis about the carbon market. And uh, I also took uh, an internship focused on uh, impact investing, but more in the, in the philanthropy side. So I was focusing on grants, microfinance schemes. And uh, I really wanted to, in the next follow years of my career, to kind of have a broad perspective of impact investment. And uh, I think, uh, studying about pension funds and having this opportunity at, uh, at uh, Pension for Purpose would be a very nice experience for me to have this very broad perspective when it comes to um, impact investment. And as I said, like connecting to people is one of the main things of my life, like one of my main purpose. So when I first had the interview and it was uh, with JD, I already felt like it was a very nice connection, uh, very nice energy as well. So I was like, okay, he got a very nice experience out of that. So I'm probably gonna have the same. And then I spoke to Karen and it was pretty much the same. So yeah, I've got very high um, expectations. Brilliant. Well, I very much hope we deliver to those expectations. So just to wrap up then, um, two questions to each of you, um, just short answers. Um, one tip that you have for uh, other students who may be applying for internships at the moment. And then second question, what do you think of the British weather? So JD, we'll start with you. Good. There are really interesting questions, especially the one regarding the weather, but I'm, I'm gonna reply it in order. For an international student, I would say when you are looking out for an opportunity to do your internship, read about the profile, read about the company, what they do, what they are looking for, what are the skills they are looking for. Because when you apply, you have to show yourself and you have to show you are interested in the company, you want to work there, you want to be part of the team. So it's really important you read about the company, what they do to be involved, why you, why, why you want to be involved and why they want to hire you, why they want to uh, you as a member of that team. I think that's crucial. And regarding the weather, I think it's, a good experience. Uh, I think Bruna and I, we we came from a very warm country in South America, but um, you had to be positive and you had to take advantage of the changes. I think from our country, you don't have, for example, winter. It's an opportunity to, to try new food, to try new clothes, to try it new things so always try to 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 look at the good things about that if you just close your eyes you say oh that's too cold or it's too dark and you don't see the new experiences 
like you'll be uh, suffering in a way that you can enjoy your studies or your time here in the UK. So as I always said, I was trying to see the, the best thing of everything and you'll be enjoying and, and experiencing a really good time here in the UK. Well, thank you for your positivity. I struggle sometimes with English weather myself, but there we go. So Bruna, how about you? So I think my tip is pretty aligned with what JD said. I think it's be curious. So be curious not only about the company, but also have a look at their core business. So if you don't know anything about it, just go and decide your research and maybe you find a new interest. Um, yeah, I think as an international student or as a student in, in general, I think you've got a lot to learn. So be curious and be open to learn new things. Um, expose yourself to new challenges. I think that's that's extremely important. So be open to new opportunities. Talk to people. I think, again, connections are, are really key uh, when you're in, in a new country, in a new environment. And we really need to connect to people because, I mean, personally speaking, that's where, like, the best, uh, the best best opportunities of my life came from was really talking to people, getting to know people and making uh, good connections. Regarding the weather, uh, I would say that it's challenging. Um, I've been texting my family and they've been telling me like, it's 42 degrees here. And I'm from Brazil, so I'm from Rio de Janeiro. So it's pretty warm up, uh, over there. I think it's a, it can be like a metaphor for like a physical challenge that comes with the, all the challenges of resilience and all of that of being in a, new, in a different country. But I would say that I, I've, le I've learned to enjoy it. I think it's, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it can it can be nice as well. Can, you can find beauty everywhere. So it's like Glasgow is a, I'm, I'm from, I'm based in Glasgow. So Glasgow is a very nice city. Um, we've got a lot of forest nature around here. So it's just, you just need to see beauty everywhere. I think I, I've gotten used to that at, at this point. When after two years, I can say that I'm, I'm getting used to that. <laughs> Well done. Well, I, uh, I'm pleased that you're both persevering with the weather. And um, uh, and certainly it's the case that when we get a beautiful day, we all go out and we celebrate. Anyway, lovely to talk to you both. And uh, I'm sure you'll be hearing more from Bruna and probably in a different capacity from JD in time as well. So thank you both very much.